This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Now I've gone ahead and inserted my DVD into my server or I've put my USB key into my server, booted it up, and if it's booting through the USB key, it should go ahead and boot to it. For a DVD, it may come up and say, press any key to boot from DVD. You just need to press any key, and that'll bring us to this screen. So I'll go ahead and click next to the splash screen. I'd want to select my language, time, currency, format, keyboard, and click on install. Now the installation process is actually very easy. If we have a product key, we can go ahead and enter it. If we don't, we can click on I don't have a product key. Now we're going to select what type of installation we want. Now normally if we purchase standard edition, we would just see the two options for standard edition. If we purchase data center, we'd see the two options for data center. And you can see the only difference is whether or not we're installing the desktop experience or the normal installation, which is server core. Remember, server core doesn't have that GUI, it just has a command prompt. So we're going to install server core, and let's do it for data center edition. So I'll go ahead and select that, click next, and accept the terms, click next. It's going to be a custom install, and we're going to select the drive that we want to install it to. If we had partitions on this drive, we want to make sure that we don't need any data on those partitions, and we could just highlight the partition and click on delete to get rid of them. So this will be our C drive. So if I want my C drive to be the entire 127 gigs, I can just click Next, and it will take care of everything for me as far as creating the partitions goes. If I want to make the partition smaller for my C drive, I can click on New, for example, and maybe make it about 60 gigs in size. Click on Apply. And you can see it creates a few other partitions as well as the partition that I'll be using for my C drive, which now looks like it's about 58 gigs in size. And then I'll have about 68.4 gigs left over to make another drive out later if I wanted to. Now if we don't see our disks, most likely the RAID card or the SCSI card that we have in our server, the driver is not part of the Server 2016 installation. So we can click on Load Driver and browse to like a USB flash drive. We could put the driver on a, a you know, USB flash drive, put it in our server, and then locate it. And then it would install the driver so that it could see the disks. So we'll just go up here and go back. We don't have to do that. So I'll select the partition I want to install, Server 2016 on, and click Next. Again, if we just wanted to use the whole disk, we could just select the disk and click Next, and it would create all the partitions for us. Okay, and after the server reboots a couple of times, we get a little command prompt here. The user's password must be changed before signing in. That's the administrator password. So I'll go ahead and type one in and confirm it. And it lets me know my password's changed. And here it is. Server 2016's been installed, and this is what a server core installation looks like. We just have a command prompt here.